It's the Ten Crack Commandments. Why? Uh, uh. Man, can't tell me nothing about this car. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Request. You ask and I deliver, baby. A little bit of that Ten Crack Commandments. Thank you for the suggestion. You know, your boy always likes to make sure he takes care of everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, I'm Mr. Fat Boy, and I appreciate y'all stopping by. Give me the piece of your time, and I appreciate it so much this beautiful Sunday day. I hope you're having a great day and you're enjoying your day, and I hope everything's going good for you today. All right, baby. Got a double dip review. As you can tell by the title, I'm, I'm, I'm stepping out there and saying... This might be the only two you ever need. Designer-wise, before we get all up in that, if you're new to this channel, come on in, baby. Hit that like and subscribe. Get the notifications. And join the Fat Boy family. We are growing every day because this is a place of being real, positive, and energetic, and just having fun. Don't take it too serious. Just have fun with it. And I love having fun. Thank you all so much. Thank you for showing the love, baby, because if you show the love, the love will always come back. Man, thank you for all the love and support from all my people out there. I appreciate it so much. You put a smile on my face every day with your comments and your feedback. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, baby, we got two from Mazzoni. We're going to get all up in it. And I'm telling you, these two right here, if you ain't got them, they could, they could be the only two you need and for the whole year, and they got you covered. All right. Let's do a review, a double dip review style. And you know how we do it, baby. No salad, no dessert, just straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Fragrance Review starts now. Come on with me now. You know you love this song. When Biggie drops it right here. Oh my God. Hit that head, Bobby, with me. Come on, bob that head. I love what he says. I get mine the fast way, baby. The ski mask way. Here he goes. All right, let's introduce the two fragrances we're talking about today. Here they go. Masoni's Poor Home. And Masoni's Wave. All right. You know your boy's got backup bowels these mugs. All right. When I'm looking for a fragrance to kind of like fit a certain season, fit a certain mode, uh, a, a situation, you know, you got your casual situations. Before we continue, let me let me turn big here real quick and turn off these strobe lights. Boy. Woo! Just love this song, man. Love this song. All right. So, I'm looking for situations that can fit a fragrance, you know. Is it a casual fragrance? Is it something I can just throw on and go? Is it something I can dress up if I want to? Do I have a fragrance for the cooler months? If I was a new person getting into this game, I would definitely take the time to think about that and not just say, okay, I'm going to get this citrus-based fragrance and I'm going to run with it. But... Can you find the fragrance that's kind of fresh, aquatic, that can fit a summertime night? Can fit also a summertime, you know, formal event? That's when it gets a little more tricky. But right here, these two fit any situation and can be the only two you need. 
and super affordable. You can get both of them for like a hundred bucks together. I think I paid like 45 for this and it came with an extra decant, a 10 ml travel, full, which is probably all I'll use, and some soap, our deodorant. This one came by itself, I think it was like 60s, a little more expensive. But, uh, you know, if you want to sample these, you sure can. You know where you can sample my baby. Let me show you something. I'm going to grab something so y'all can check it out. This is one of my other Father's Day gifts, and I got to find a place to hang it up. But check it out. Fat Boy Fragrance Ink. Smell good. If you smell good, you feel good, baby. The wife, they got that for me. I got to find a place to hang it up. I really haven't decided yet. Maybe right here. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think y'all like that. Maybe right here. All right. But of course, if you got any decant needs, I got you. The customer is always right. Take care of the customer. Period. All right. So let's talk about these fragrances, okay? We're going to talk off with Masoni's Wave first because we are in the summertime. All right? Let's pull up the notes from Mazzoni Wave. Before we do that, check out the bottle. Get a good look at this bottle now. For the... Here we go. It says Masoni right there and Wave at the bottom. Got that nice silver top. Now watch this. Oh, a magnetic cap. Oh. Home defense bottle. Yeah, you can hit somebody across the head. They gonna feel it. Not as heavy, but it might be good for you know, still hit somebody in the nose, bridge their nose. You heard them. Always gotta have that home defense bottle, baby. All right. So now let's look at the notes in this bad boy, and then we'll go over it. And, I, and I'll spray it on my hand. I've worn this several times, so I'll be glad to share with y'all what I think about the fragrance. All right. <laughs> so the top notes. On Masoni's Wave are C notes, Sicilian Mandarin, Citrus, Clary Sage, Lavender, Egyptian, Epilogramium. I can't pronounce that one. You can see it up there with me. And Rosemary in the middle and the base in the bottom. You got Vanilla Accord, Oak Moss, Haitian Vetiver, and Patchouli. All right. So let's go ahead and put it on the skin. Get a real-time feel on it. What you know about that? You can't see me, baby. And uh, I'm going to make an announcement right now on my channel, Fat, uh, Back in the Day with Fat Boy. Me and Russell Mack are going to do a video not a week from today at 8 p.m. Make sure you check it out. The links for my other channels are below. I've got Fat Boy Talking Sports where we talk about sports. Check out my latest video on the Sixers debacle. Woo. Plan to do another video coming up this week on Fat Boy Talking Sports. And then check, we have already have some videos you want to check out. Me and the wife did a video on 90s candy. It's pastime. Back in the day, in, uh, back in the day of Fat Boys. Basically about the 90s. But what me and Russell Mack from Solomon's Vineyard are going to cover. And that's my homie. A brother from another mother. And I love him. And we're going to cover the battle beef songs between Dre and Easy e And compare which one still holds up to the time. What was the feelings on time? So we got Dre Day against Easy es Real Mother. Mm -hmm, you know what it was. So we're going to get all up in it. Y'all check it out. Next Sunday at 8 p.m. Subscribe to Fat Back in the Day with Fat Boy. Subscribe to Fat Boy Talking Sports. And join the Fat Boy family all the way around, baby. If you like sports, you like nostalgia in the 90s, I got you covered. All right. So this is going to be like an aquatic fragrance. You say, oh, okay, you know. But, let's spray it on the skin. That's how we get our real feelings on it, and let's find out. Good sprayer. Look at that sprayer. It's a great sprayer. This thing, I mean, this is... Man. <laughs> I had to stop myself. Woo! Does it have a hint of syntheticness to it? Yeah, in the opening a little bit. It might throw off the Oud guy or the Dracar Noir guy a little bit. You know, they might, you know, they might put it in their hunt, pal. But me, man, this is yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm. Give it about 10, 5 minutes, and this thing finds itself. Don't get me wrong. The opening is eye-catching. I mean, nose-catching, whatever you want to call it. It grabs attention, and it's super nice. And you can spray this on and go right into where you're going. People are going to say, man, you smell good. I mean, you really smell good. And those are the reactions I've got from wearing Masoni's Way. Okay? <sighs> 
I get the aquatic notes. I get that gorgeous Sicilian Mandarin there, which is probably the best done Sicilian Mandarin I've ever had in any fragrance. It has a powdery aquatic citrus opening that is reminiscent of, say, this bad boy right here. And we know what kind of beast this fragrance was. But it's a little bit more aquatic. Definitely more aquatic. But it has that vibe. Man. And who could not say that that fragrance right there from Chanel is not a perfect fragrance for any situation. Alright. So, in the opening you're going to get a gorgeous mandarin, gorgeous powdery, aquatic vibe. But then it finds itself in the middle with some lavender that is off the chain. Man, that lavender is gorgeous. It gives it more of a soapy feel, a more powdery feel. And then when it dries down, whoo, it never lets go of the aquaticness. It keeps it throughout the fragrance. And I love the fact that, that we do get that little bit of vetiver in there. And we do get the oak moss. So it comes through. You get a more well-rounded fragrance when you get to the vetiver and the oak moss. It gets a little bit more dirty, a little more earthy. And I love that. And I'm not a big fan of that. So you start off with this bright, fresh, clean smell that has reminiscence of a, a lower home extreme sport, but the lavender separates itself and makes this a better fragrance. So what you end up getting at the end is aquatic, vanilla, powdery, dry down. So doesn't that sound appealing? This fragrance is perfect for any situation in the summertime. You got a date, put it on. You're going to a formal event, put it on. Casual, put it on. Gym, work, office, you name it. This fragrance can be worn anytime in the summer. All right. This is, I, I'm not even going to go through the Fat Boy Seal approval. I'm going to talk about his performance. Solid. This is going to get the Fat Boy Seal approval automatic. This is 10-hour fragrance all day. <laughs> For the money, this is amazing. So, 10-hour fragrance. Does the wifey like it? Oh, she loves it. Compliments, yes, I got them, no doubt. And do I love? I love this fragrance. I highly recommend you at least try it, sample it, or get you a bottle. It's so worth it. You have to try Masoni's Wave if you haven't tried it yet. It's a 2020 release, so it's pretty new. Oh, it starts to find itself. It, it's amazing. And like I said, it does have that Chanel Little Hormone Extreme vibe. It does have that. And that's a beautiful one. Speaking of that song we just talked about, go back and listen to this song in Dre Day and you form your only opinion. Which one's still relevant? Which one holds up best? And which one's the real G? And that California beat, man. Listen to that beat. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Turn, I turned down too far. Okay, so that's Masoni's Wave, full fat boy seal approval. Now, fall, nighttime, cooler months, I got you. Masoni for home, 2017, this bad boy came out. Same bottle style, right? Same bottle style, same kind of cap, magnetic, gorgeous magnetic cap. Blah, blah, blah on the bottom. I'm going to put this one on this hand. While I'm sitting there for a second, let's pull up the notes. <sighs> All right, with this one, you have grapefruit, lemon, lavender in the open. In the mid, you have ginger now, apple, jasmine in the middle, birch, oak, ma, oak sandalwood, musket, patchouli in the bottom. As you can see the notes yourself right there. Now, this one. Reminds me of this bad boy, a tad, an original formulation of this bad boy right here. A little bit. So take this fragrance, throw some lavender in there, amp it up, give it almost like a barbershop feel to it. And you have another compliment. Beast. I mean, beast compliments. Three in one day wearing this. And you know me, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, you know, I'm not the compliment guy all the time. You know, I love compliments. I love it because I love to start a conversation with my fragrances. I love it. 
You know, I, mean, I talk about fragrances all day. Mm. This one, right out the bottle, you can wear it. It smells great. All right, so as this one starts off, you're going to get a blast of grapefruit. In, I mean, a grapefruit, lemon, lavender. Not that harsh, too realistic grapefruit. A lot of the fragrances that I adore have grapefruit in there, but some of them overdo the grapefruit, like, say, Light Blue Forever. It's way overdone. But that lavender in there tones it down. Grapefruit and lavender is an amazing combination because if you go too far with grapefruit, how are you going to reel it back in? The lavender reels it back in. And then when this thing starts to dry down, it finds itself with that ginger. Oh, I love the note of ginger. It almost has like a La Nuit de Lone vibe to it. Now tell me, that doesn't sound a little bit appealing. So Lone, La Nuit de Lone, Blue de Chanel vibe, and a little bit of barbershop in there too. Even the Oog guy has to say that's not that bad. Freaking Oog guy. I gotta bring the Oog guy back, right? He gotta do it. He gotta do another video, right? All right. So I love the way this fragrance finds itself. Do I get a lot of oak and patchouli on the end? No. I think this is a top-heavy middle fragrance, but I do get the white musk, and I love that. It's kind of a nice way to finish up with a nice, fresh, clean smell. Okay. So this one reminds me of Blue Chanel a little bit. Throwing some barbershop and a little bit of Lano Eat the Loma in there. Okay, when can you wear this? Formal occasions. Yes. Great formal occasions. A great fragrance for a date night. First date. Put this on. Age groups don't matter on either one of these. Young old can rock either one of these. I forgot to mention that. No problem. Definitely a masculine fragrance for men. Ladies, if you watch a lot, I know a lot of ladies watch my channel. If you're looking to get something for your man, check out these two. If they're not big in the fragrances, but you want to get them into it, get them these two. That's what my wife did for me. She found the Michael Core Blue Extreme, and it changed my my, my whole thing because I was like, man, stuff like this smells good. It's not cool water or uh Aqua I, I started wanting to branch out. I'm not saying you want to create your own frag monster with your husband or your better half or your worst half, whatever they are, your partner, but you can. That's my advice to ladies, like, give them something different than what they used to have. But, you know, do some research. My wife did a lot of research on the ones she picked me up that Christmas. One day I'll do a video on just those ones she's got for me that Christmas, but I still have them. Okay, so to finish up on this, does this one get the Fat Boy Seal approval or not? Performance, check the box again, 10 plus. This thing lasts forever, so it's perfect for the winter, perfect for the cooler months, perfect for like summer nights, even summer days you can rock. This is an all year round fragrance, no doubt. Wave is probably 60% of the year, depending on where you live. Now here I could probably get, get away with 70% of the year I could wear Wave. Okay, does the wifey like it? Mm, she didn't love it, but the fact that I got compliments wearing it, bam. So it's, a, it's, it's appealing, it's pleasing to other people, you, it's an attention grabber. And do I like it? Of course I love it. I re highly recommend this. 100% full Fat Boy Seal of approval. It's worth checking out. Alright, so recapping. You need a summer fragrance. You need an all year round or fall cooler month fragrance. These two right here will cover you. Mastoni's, Mastoni's Per Home and Mastoni's Wave. Check them out. If you want to send them with the FatboyFragrance.com or FatboyFragrance on eBay, feel free to do that. If you can also purchase these, I bought this one Fragrance by Net, uh, Fragrance Net, and I bought this one Fragrance by Canada. That's all the time I got, baby. I hope you enjoyed this double dip video. I had fun on this Sunday with y'all. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. And you know what I always tell you, baby? If you smell good and you feel good, baby, I'm going to turn the music up. It's going to be all good. Cross the more to be free than a life in the pen, making money off the